Wow, what an incredible opportunity it is to share with you some of my work today. First, I would like to ask, how many of you in here have taken aspirin before? Just raise your hand. That's kind of what I expected. You see, as a young child growing up in the Caribbean, aspirin was also no stranger to our home. In fact, it was my mother's go-to drug. Just think about it. We use aspirin for the treatment of pain, fever, inflammatory illnesses, and for the prevention of heart attacks and strokes. It really is an amazing drug. But that's not all. Did you know that aspirin might be useful in cancer? A recent study identified a potentially new benefit for the use of this drug in colon cancer. Specifically, aspirin seems to benefit those colon cancer patients who have a certain mutation in a gene called PIK3CA. Here's what they found. This graph shows that patients with this mutation who also take aspirin are less likely to suffer from cancer-related death compared to those who do not. This finding is significant as it suggests that aspirin could potentially be useful in the treatment of cancer. Of course, this study alone is not enough, and more research still needs to be done to support this theory. What is even more exciting is the implications of this finding in the treatment of breast cancer. Why, you may ask? Because these mutations are found in about 30% of all breast cancers. Before I go on, let me tell you a little more about this mutant PIK3CA gene and its relevance to breast cancer. Our lab and others have observed that if you add this mutant gene to a normal, non-cancerous breast cell, this cell will now begin to show some of the characteristics of a tumor cell. For example, these mutant cells are able to grow faster compared to the normal cells, even under conditions where major growth factors are absent. This mutant gene can also cause a change in the gene expression of that cell. Many of the affected genes are involved in processes like inflammation, cell movement, cell death, and cell growth, among others. And notably, this mutation has also been shown to promote the development of breast tumors in mice. So the important question is this. Does aspirin have a chemotherapeutic benefit in treating breast cancers with this mutant gene? To begin to answer this question, we use PIK3CA mutant cells that were originally derived from a breast cancer patient. These cells were treated with different doses of aspirin, and the effect of the drug on the growth of the cells was assessed. What we found is that as we increased the amount of aspirin, the number of breast cancer cells decreased. We also wanted to find out whether lower doses of aspirin could improve the effectiveness of a second drug. This drug was designed to block the activity of PIK3CA. We want to know the answer to this question because many of these drugs, which are currently used in clinical trials, have yet to reach their maximum level of effectiveness. Many have severe side effects, and often the tumors develop resistance to these drugs. We observe that lower doses of aspirin or this PIK3CA inhibitor drug alone had minimal effect. However, when we combine the two, they cause a more significant decrease in the number of breast cancer cells. This trend holds true not only for this specific drug, but also for a second drug which can block the activity of PIK3CA. Intrigued by these findings, we then performed several experiments to try to understand how aspirin works in the context of a mutant PIK3CA cell. So far, we have learned that mutant PIK3CA can increase the activity of proteins involved in processes like cell growth, survival, metabolism, as well as proteins that can affect processes like cell movement, inflammation, and blood vessel development. 
All of these processes have been shown to play a critical role in the growth and spread of cancer. Importantly, we have also learned that aspirin can block the activity of many of those mutant PIK3CA regulated proteins. And this may explain in part why it might have this beneficial effect. Now what I have shared with you today is only a tip of the iceberg. And more research still needs to be done using animal models and in human, human clinical trials. However, just the thought that something as simple and inexpensive like aspirin could someday be part of our standard treatment for breast cancer is indeed an exciting prospect. Thank you.